Need station information? Miss a great interview? Follow us on Facebook at NBC Sports AM 1060 for weekly game updates and the best local and national interviews. A lot of people don't remember this beat. This is a Pete Rock beat. I don't know. It comes back to the East Coast, West Coast thing. I don't think you West Coasters really know about Pete Rock. Uh, I tend to think Pete Rock, we we were talking about the GOAT in the first segment. If Pete Rock's not the GOAT, he's pretty daggone close. Like, um, everybody knows the Pete Rock, CL Smooth, they reminisce over you, all of that. (laughs) But Pete Rock's done so many dope beats over the years for for others. This is a song he did with Lars Professor way, way back in the day. Um, his sampling techniques and, and his skill behind the turntables is up there. Pete Rock, DJ Premier, Dr. Dre, Jay Dilla, Mad Lib. That's kind of my my Mount Rushmore, so to speak. Speaking of hip hop, uh, this being a, a hip hop and sports talk show, we're really one of the few that that do it this way. Uh, we're always talking sports, always talking hip hop on on the Lance J Radio Network. We're here live in Phoenix, Arizona, KDUS, The Deuce, 1060 AM. Um, But we'll always have that Philly flavor. Um, We started off um, on 610 Sports, WTEL in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A lot of the team is back in Philly. Um, We interview a lot of individuals from the Philadelphia metropolitan area in the hip-hop community. They show us mad love. We're going to continue to show them mad love. Right. So, Speaking of that, I want to have um, one of one of Philly's finest is is joining us today, a member of the Grammy Award nominated group, the the Young Guns, also a member of State Property with, with Beanie Siegel and Freeway and a lot of other cats that that are very well known. Uh, MC has been in the game many many years. Um, want to have Neef Buck on the show. Uh, thanks for coming on the show, Neef. Man, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm Neef. Chilling, man. I'm good, man. Thank y'all for uh, giving me the opportunity and the platform to, you know, let the people uh, know what's going on, um, know what I got going on. Right now, I'm shooting a video to one of my records that's on Five Do Me Nine. I just dropped Five Do Me Nine on my birthday, March the 30th. So everybody, y'all are tuning in, all the listeners, y'all go make sure y'all go get Five Do Me Nine. It's on all digital platforms. But I'm shooting a, um, I'm shooting a video to a record called um, Can't Do Right right now as we speak. I took some time out to get on the phone and chop it up with y'all. It was good. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. It's, uh, that's dope. I actually want to let let my lovely co-host kind of step to the scene because you and you and her have kind of crossed paths uh, at one point in time. So, <laughs> yeah. So, Ray. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? How I'm are doing you? Good. What's going on? I'm doing good. So, I was telling James, I was like, oh, yeah, Neef, I did the Young Guns No Better Love video with you guys in the mountains. Wow. Right? Wow. Yes. Yeah. I was at the party yeah. in the cabin. Yeah. <laughs> that was love. <laughs> yes, that's that still dope. on my playlist that's, to this day. That's, that's like that, one of my favorite songs. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's one thing about us, man. We try to uh, make for, forever music, M- music that's timeless, music that lasts forever, and you can play it from 10, 20 years from now. It's just going to still you get that same vibe and that right. same feeling. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. That's what we lack in the day. So, you know, right. I'm no just doubt. trying to keep, keep, keep that going, man. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Keep that, keep that up. Yep, yep, yep. No, that's what's up, man. That was dope, man. That was one of my first treatments that I wrote for oh, videos. Yeah? I wrote that, tro- yeah, I wrote that whole treatment. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that, that was, was probably, dope, you know? that was in the, my young and cracking days, but that was, <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah, like that uh, was the dope. second video, that was like the second video I ever did. I was just, I was, uh, Doing videos kind of in between college, mm-hmm. home, you know, home from college. Did a couple of videos then, so I was doing it then. You got to reach out to me on Instagram. DM me so Most I can follow back and check you out for sure. Most deaf. Yeah. Well, shout yeah. out to me for having Ray to come on and co-host the show because, <laughs> um, you know, when she when she joined the team, I had no idea that I went to college with Ray, but I didn't know that she was doing videos kind of in that in-between. We got yeah. a lot of questions to talk about off-air, uh, Ray, but we're going to go – it's a sports, which is why you came on the show, man. Obviously, okay. Philly is Philly is buzzing. Um, you're just coming off an of Eagles chip um, that that had been elusive, but then you see the Sixers. I mean, I watched the Sixers just completely buzzsaw through the heat don't yesterday, forget, man. Don't, don't don't forget about Villanova. That's PA, man. That's no Philly doubt, right there, man. No PA. doubt, don't do that, man. Villanova, they they here, man. They ask, 
he one of the big five in the city, you know what I'm saying? No doubt. Like food, you know what I'm saying? So we, we, we super lit in the city right now. We still smell like, we smell, we look like confetti still on us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> From the we smell like champions, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to all the Eagles, all of Villanova and the Sixers, man. We, I've been trusting the process for a while. We had a big performance yesterday right before the game. We did a, a big performance for all the Sixers fans at that. the uh, Xfinity Live. Yeah. It was super dope. You and you know Free and Beans, so, yeah. Yeah, we that. all that was came dope. out and, and did it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just set the mood. We set the tone. And, you know, they came out there and did what they supposed to do, man. I think we're going to the, uh, you know, the conference, Eastern Conference Finals, man. We, 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 we on our way for sure. We kind of take it home. So, can you guys, so I was, that's kind of what I was about to ask you. I mean, how do you feel about facing Toronto or uh, facing Cleveland? I mean, how do you feel those matchups look? Uh, man, listen, you know, I love Brian. That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? From, from, from We go way, way back day one. You know what I'm saying? But they struggle today. I don't know if they might get to us. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's looking, it's looking a little shaky. You know what I'm saying? No like, doubt. You know what I'm saying? So they got to get past them first. We looking good. We won our last. I don't know how many games. We 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 doing real good, man. The city on fire without without even having MB. Hopefully, MB could be real, back real soon. But you know, these young guys, man. That's what is as a young man's game right now. I see. You know what I'm saying? You know, you always need some good veterans on a team that you know to give out the game or whatever like that, and, and you know, just be a coach on the floor. But as a young man's game, these young guys, man, they coming in the, in the game and really doing them. But I think we're looking good against the Bucks, So we, I think we definitely going to the second round. So for those just tuning in, uh, we're on live with, with Neef Buck, uh, State Property, Young Guns, uh, renowned, legendary Philadelphia hip-hop artist and MC. Mm-hmm. Got to ask you, because I ask everybody that comes in from Philly this this question, and I know it's a I know it's a few weeks late, but but when you wait fifty years to win a title, you still got to, Like you said, you're still feeling the confetti. What was it like when the Eagles finally oh, broke man. through? And when they, when when they had that strip sack against Brady, and you knew that the Eagles was going to win, that was it. What was it that like? Was it. Yeah. How did that you feel it. inside? Was, it's, it's a ritual. I mean, my family we go out Atlantic City and mm-hmm. uh, get a big suite, and my whole family watch it every year. And I was telling my grandmas, my aunts, and, and, and my little cousins, they were so hyped when we was just up. And I was just like, like Brady is dangerous. He's known for the comeback kid. He's like hey. the comeback kid. He always, I could be, well, I seen him come back with one minute, two minutes. I seen him come back with a, t- a little bit of time so the game is never over until it's all zeros on the board. You know what I'm saying? So I kept on telling them to calm down. Like, it's just still, we still dealing with Brady. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, our defense really got to show up because, at one minute, it was just going back and forth with the scoring. You know what I'm saying? Both over scoring. But, you know, defense, they say defense win championships. Mm-hmm. And that was a prime example. So when he stripped the ball, man, I, I knew it was over. And then I was telling them that was time to celebrate. You know what I'm saying? So it was, I was fronted with my family. So it, it was dope, man. It was super dope. Yeah, one of the things when I talk to people from Philly is so ill that um, – Everybody that comes on the show from Philly says it is a family thing. Like, I was watching the game with family. I was watching the game with my father, my grandfather, my cousins. Like, cats mm-hmm. in Philly don't just watch the game solo. Like, it's it's really yeah, like – it's man. really like uh, we, We've been waiting for this. Not right. to cut you off, but we've been waiting for this. You got people that probably never watched football a day in their life, but they enjoyed that moment that we had in the city and people celebrated. People that – not fans of football, they was out celebrating – that whole week and that, that the parade, it was just crazy, man. It just so, brought so much to the city. We needed that. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so much going on. You know, the violence, the, you know, all the negativity going on. So, I mean, we needed mm-hmm. something big, a uh, positive impact on the city to put the light on it in a positive way. And, right. you know, you know that, that was that was good. That was uh, everything kind of for a reason. That was a good time. And I felt it. I felt it all good. I ain't even going to hold you, man. I was like, like this is our year, man. Like, this is our year. This is best to be. This is our year, for sure. All year, I felt like that. Absolutely. So, Neef, while I got you on the phone, man, you know I got to ask you. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask you. I'm not going to go in too much to it. But, you know, there's been a little bit of infighting within the camp, within your team. Now, it was real dope to see you and Free and, and Beans out performing yesterday. I was looking yeah. at that right. on right. IG. Right. So, you know, it was all love, and mm-hmm. the Sixers went out and did their thing. Mm-hmm. I don't want to get too much into it, but I did want to give you a chance to address some of the things that are going on in the streets because the streets mm-hmm. do want to know. Mm-hmm. 
Go ahead. You got you got to ask me the question. No, nah, man, I'm just I'm just saying. I mean, it's, it's, we got we got some disc well, tapes well, going back well, and forth. We got no, you know no, we got really some. No, I don't really have no. You know that ain't really my thing. You I feel you. I, I, I play chess, not checkers. But like anybody got questions about anything, go get the music. Go get forever do me nine. Is I call forever do me nine is the facts of life. It's very beneficial, man. It talks about a lot of trials and tribulations. And um, it talks about betrayal, d- different things, mm-hmm. things that you can benefit and things that people can relate to mm-hmm. in life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the facts of life. That's what Savage Union 9 is. So the listeners, if y'all want to know anything, it's all in the music. Like, I put it all in there. I put no as doubt. much as okay. possible in there. You know what I'm saying? That's what so artist like, does. Like, that, like, yeah, true artist, man. I do it on my time, and, and you're going to pay for this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like <laughs> it. I like it. I like so, it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that's the thing about, you know. You know, we stay, we stay, we stay silent, man, until it's time to stay checkmate. So, you know, it's doing real well, you know what I'm saying? So, make sure y'all go pick that up. Look at the visuals I put out. I put out a visual for Money Bag and a visual for Checkmate 2. I'm shooting another video right now. I've been working, doing shows, and stuff all around the world. So, you know how that go, man. I ain't doing no tripping, man. I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. Keeping my fist on the law, taking care of my family. I'm blessed, man. I, I can't, you know what I mean? Right on. Can't entertain none of that. I'm too focused on. I can't. I can't. I can't hate nobody that hates me because I'm too busy showing love to people that show love to me. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what it is at the end of the day. Man, that's 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 some that's some positive stuff, Definitely. man. Um, yeah, man. If it ain't if it ain't positive, I don't want to be a part of it. it ain't about no money. It ain't about positivity. I don't want to be around it, man. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. But you know, you seen us up there yesterday enjoying life, man. Yeah, the yeah. Property, man. You know what I'm saying? We 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 doing. We still still sharp as still, man. We looking good. We got some state property shows coming up. We just working, man. You know. Staying sucker free and out of jail, you know what I mean? No, I hear that. I was gonna ask you, we got a got a couple of minutes left. Um, you know, free both free and beans are, are dudes that I grew up on. I mean, Ray, my co host is a is a West Coaster, so <laughs> she might not really be to the to the ends for real, for real. But what's it like right. performing and touring with those dudes? I mean, these are all you and them, all cats that, you know, really literally been in my tape deck, my C D mm-hmm. deck and now and now my iPad. Right. Oh man, it is a blessing. It's a blessing to still be able to come out and, and, and do the, and do these and do these shows and people still come out and support us. Uh, you know, eight to eighty blocks are going crazy all around the world. So it's, it's a blessing and it's humbling, and we never take that for granted. You know, we 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 cool with our fans and they still come out and support us, and we just show love, man. You know, it's, it's, it's a blessing, man. It's a humbling feeling, and you know, we love it, man. Hopefully, we'll be in a city near you soon. You know what I'm saying? Get get your promoters, tell them the book, state property, reach out to us. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the underscore buck. And let's make it happen, man. Everything's in the bio. No doubt, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show, yeah, Neef. We appreciate you. it. We got we definitely yeah, gotta do this again. Thanks for having me, man. I, I appreciate that. Thanks a lot, y'all. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all night and be safe. And everybody go get that Fabric Do Me Nine. I got my own clothing line too, so y'all can go shop for the Fabric Do Me clothing at FabricDoMeClothing dot com. Get some gear. And you know, that? follow me on Twitter and, and Instagram at me underscore buck. Salute to all the real. It's Friday. All right, no doubt. Thanks, yeah, Steve. All right. all right, thank y'all. Appreciate it. Good night. Very good to see um, Neve take the high road. I mean, we're not we're not doing uh, Charlemagne type of. No. Uh, that's not really the type no. of radio we do. We're not doing <laughs> right. gossip radio, but mm-hmm. you know, there's been some stuff going on the streets with with Neef and one of his other crew members, kind of going back and forth with each other. He comes in here and takes the high road. Definitely. You know, no I distance, just that. nothing on that positive tip. Yeah. Uh, and real talk, that's what hip hop is about. It's not about. I mean, people spar and go at each other to an extent, mm-hmm. but when it really gets into that vile, disgusting anger. It's really about that that positivity. Yeah. So so shout out to you, Neef. Uh, yeah, definitely. Great interview. Shout out. We'll be back after these messages. Lance Day Radio Network.